In this screencast, I'm going to consider the example of a parabola. I'm going to focus on this particular question. Consider the parabola satisfying this, this equation. So the set of points x, y satisfying this equation. And you're asked to find the tangent, the normal vectors, the tangent and normal vectors, the curvature and the radius of the curvature, all at the point 2, 0, which you can verify lies on this curve. Then you're asked to sketch the oscillating circle at that point. A very typical question in this subject. All right, so let's get going. As always in this in this uh, field, what you need to do is you need to have a parameterization. So we need an R of t in order to work with. And you're not given it, you have to deduce it. And a natural choice would be to set x is equal to t, and then to set y is equal to what it has to be to satisfy this set of, uh, to, to satisfy this equation, which would be t squared over 4 minus 1. I'm not going to do that for two reasons. Uh, let me first tell you what I am going to do. What I'm going to do instead is x is equal to 2t and then y is equal to just simply t squared minus 1. So let me just go ahead and put that up here and then explain. You can easily verify that that is a parameterization for that set of points. Uh, the reason for choosing this, there are twofold. One is I don't want this uh, 4 in the denominator. Uh, I just prefer not to. I prefer to have a 2 in the numerator. And the other reason is that writing it this way will make a, a nice illustration of sketching, which I'm about to, to show you. Uh, but I, should, I suppose I should emphasize that it wouldn't matter. If you, if you had chosen this parameterization, you would have gotten exactly the same uh, answers for all of these quantities. It won't depend on the parameterization. It only depends on the curve. Uh, what I want to do is I want to sketch this curve just so we don't forget how to sketch curves. I'm going to copy this and paste it, and I'm going to turn it yellow. And I'm going to bring it over here. So I want to sketch this curve. Now you may have think you may have thought that I've already sketched it. I haven't. What I've sketched here is I've sketched a different curve, which I'm going to call r tilde is equal to t t squared. That's kind of my generic parabola uh, x is uh, uh, y equal x squared. In particular, this parabola, the way that uh, I want to note something that it goes through when x is one, y is one. So it kind of goes through that point. And when x is minus 1, y is 1, that point. And it passes through the origin. This parabola then can be thought of as this parabola doing two things. I just want to remind you about that. Let me just continue in yellow here. That this will be a stretch of the x-coordinate. So don't forget about that. I will stretch the x-coordinate by a factor of 2. And this I will downshift y, this minus 1. That will be a shift downwards by 1. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's attempt to do this. What I want to do is I want to stretch this stretch this parabola out by a factor of 2 in the x direction and downshift it by 1. I realize you can't do this quite as easily as I can, but nevertheless. So what I want to do is I want to stretch it by about a factor of 2. That's pretty good, all right? And then I'm going to downshift it by 1. Um, okay, let's, let's hope that's okay. Let's erase a little bit of this nonsense all around. And you will see, hopefully, that this is unit length here, unit length down, so it's a downshift of 1 over 2. And this right here is my point 2, 0, which is the, the point in question. All right, so that's not a bad sketch. All right, so let's get going with the calculations. We need the tangent vector. That's the first thing we're asked for. Let me just kind of block that off there, get it out of the way. Just recall, I'm going to write this and then erase it. The tangent vector is equal to r prime over the modulus of r prime. Well, maybe I want to erase it. Anyway, so that's what we need to compute. So first thing is r prime. r prime, I won't include of t, but r prime is equal to, we have to differentiate the, our parameterization. So simply 2, 2t. Two now we need the magnitude of that. So that uh, looks like 4 plus 4t squared to the 1 half. I'm going to pull out the 2 because we're going to differentiate again to get the, the normal, I'm going to need the general expression for the tangent as a, for, all, for all points on the curve. Let me just in, indicate that here. And that's going to be this vector 2, 2t divided by the norm. So that's r prime divided by the norm of r prime. Two's cancel and I get, I want to write it this way, 1 over 1 plus t squared to the 1 half. 1t. So that's the, the tangent at an arbitrary point. What we need is t at 1, and you just plug in 1 there, you get a 1 over the square root of 2, and a 1, 1. 
and sure enough this vector has length 1 as it must and let me bring it over here so this is our answer maybe I should have did I say or should I have stressed I'm not sure if I said or not but obviously t equal 1 is the pointing question with t equal 1 uh, that gives us our point two zero. if I didn't say that I said it now all right so this is our tangent vector what does it look like well I go over um, 1 over the square root of 2 over in, in, in x and up 1 over the square root of 2 in y and so I'm going to draw my tangent vector and should have length 1 and there it is and that's t so it's at 45 degree angle 1 1 divided by the square root of 2 so let's continue uh, what we now need is the the normal vector and I'll just remind you let me kind of block this off a little bit the um, the normal vector also a unit vector is the derivative of the tangent vector divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the tangent vector so we need to differentiate the tangent vector this is a point I want to stress is that just to make sure everybody's following along and, and practicing their vector differentiation rules this this the way I've written this tangent vector it's a form of a scalar function function of t times a vector function we call it v of t anyway it's a it's a scalar function a regular real valued function times a vector function and you and we have to differentiate this and so let's just uh, remind ourselves so I need t prime that's going to be f prime v plus f v prime so let's do that it's a little bit messy I warn you so f prime let's see if we can tell you what we're going to do here this is going to be a long expression here we go right, let's go f prime minus one half that's f prime and then just times v plus f times v prime and v prime is zero one. Oh, so not so bad All right so there there's t prime now I could condense this down and make it a general function of t but in fact I'm only going to need t prime at 1 and I don't want to take a lot of time so t prime at 1 let's see uh, you can I'll just let you do all that condensation and you'll find that that becomes 1 over the square root of 8 minus 1 1 alright so now what we have to do is this vector this vector does not have unit length and what we have what we have to do is we have to divide by its length so let's compute the length of this vector I'm going to leave off the 1 so that's a vector that's a vector you have to tell me if I leave these off okay so the modulus of that is equal to well the 1 over the square root of 8 stays there and then times 1 squared plus 1 squared uh, to the 1 half so we have root 2 over root 8 is equal to 1 half so finally then I'll just do it here n at this point in question it's not at a general point maybe I should emphasize that n at 1 is equal to t prime at 1 which is 1 over square root of 8 minus 1 1 divided by 1 half which is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1 1 that is my normal vector and I'm going to put it over here again that's a vector so that's the second uh, part of my calculation and let's plot it so it again has length 1 in this case I go to the to the left 1 of the square root of 2 units and up 1 of the square root of 2 units that is to say I go to the left and up and the total length is 1 probably not perfect that is a normal vector and indeed it is perpendicular to and it's meant to be the same length as my tangent vector I think the problem is my tangent vector is a little too long so I'm going to shorten it so they're my first two vectors or my, the two vectors that I'm asked for in this case and at this point I'm going to pause and continue with the remainder of the calculation in the next screencast